Good morning year three and welcome to today's maths video. Today's maths video is for Monday the 22nd of February. I hope you all had a really lovely and restful half term holiday. Here is your Fluent in Five. Please pause the video if you have not done it already and have a go. Let's have a look at the answers. Here you've got 70 divided by 10 equals seven. Now hopefully you either made yourself 10 groups and shared your 70 into your 10 groups or you realise that you're going up in groups of 10, so you could count up in groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, gives you seven groups. Then with these ones, there's multiple ways you can do this. You can either do nine, take away three, which gives you six, and then take away two to give you four, or you can do add them together to get five, Put that together, nine take away five is also four. Now this one, it's so helpful to think of a part, part, whole method. So at the top, I've got my whole, and my whole is 725. Now that is made up of two parts, and these are the two parts that make up the whole. So we've got 362, and you didn't know this one. Now if you start with the whole and subtract this number, you end up with this number, which we knew. However, we didn't know what we were subtracting, but look, if I start with the top one and take away that one, I end up with the other one. So that's what you needed to do. You needed to do 725, take away 362. And that is because if you added those two numbers together, you would get that number there. Lastly, 52 times three, as you can see here, I've made myself three groups because I have three lots of, and then I have done one, two, three, four, five tens and two ones, calculated it the three times. That gives me 15 tens, which I know is the same as 150, and six ones. If I do 150, add six, I get 156, which is the answer. Well done if you got those right. So our learning today is looking at learning to understand fractions. I'm going to go through all of the tasks in case you didn't understand what you needed to do and then I will go through the answers afterwards. So the first one asks you what fraction of each shape is not shaded. So down the middle you've got your shaded shapes, here you've got your fractions as numbers and down this side you've got your fractions as words. Now I would strongly suggest looking at the shapes and going from there because as you may notice you have more fractions than you do shapes so it's probably easiest to look at the shapes and work from there. I'm going to demonstrate the first one in case you don't understand and then if you have not done it yet hopefully you can pause the video and have a go. So you're looking here at how much is not shaded. My first thing to do is look at how many equal parts I've got in total and I've got two equal parts in total. So I know my denominator is two. I know my bottom number is two because I have two equal parts. Now I'm looking for what, how much of the shape is not shaded. Now I've got one part here that is not shaded and one part here that is. So I only have one part that is not shaded. And I know that that is now one half. Now you could probably see that by looking at it, but it's worth going through how to do it properly for the harder shapes down below. So I look now and I need to join my shape up with my half and then I've got one half in words here, so I join that too. So that is what you need to do for each shape. Find the fraction in words and the fraction as a number and link the shape up to it. Question two says each shape has been divided into equal parts. Shade two or more parts of the shape, then fill in the space. Now the answers for this will vary depending on what you choose to do. So I'll show you an example, but you don't need to have done exactly the same as me. Now it tells me to shade two or more parts, so I'm going to shade three parts. And then look at completing the sentences. It says, something parts out of something equal parts are shaded. Well, I've just shaded one, two, three. So I say three parts out of well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine parts in total. So I have shaded three parts out of nine equal parts. That will allow me to now write the fraction. So what fraction of the shape has been shaded? Well, three ninths have been shaded, three out of nine. 
Then what has not been shaded, well here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces not shaded. So six out of nine, six ninths are not shaded. So that's what you need to do for this one. You need to colour in a certain amount and then complete the sentences. Your parts may, your, the amounts you've coloured in may differ and that's absolutely fine because it's asking you to choose. Question three says a chocolate bar has 10 equal parts. Peter eats four parts. So this bar here is representing that, is representing the 10 equal parts and the four parts which he has eaten. And it asks you to fill in the missing gaps with the right information. Again, I'll go through the answers in a minute. Then Maya wants to make a train with 10 cubes. She joins seven cubes together and can you see the seven cubes she's done are these seven they are gray in color then she's got white cubes here she adds how many more white cubes to complete the train so how many white cubes has she added what fraction of the cubes are then gray so what is this part as a fraction and what fraction of the cubes are white so what is this part as a fraction then that should tell you two fractions that go together to make a whole so you're looking at this part and this part that go together to make one whole. So think about how you'd write that as a fraction. Then question five. Ty is doing a 12 piece puzzle. Now that's really important that it's a 12 piece puzzle, but some pieces are missing. You've got a puzzle here, that is the pieces he's got, and a puzzle here with the pieces he's missing. So how many pieces are missing and how many pieces are in place? Now you can do that just by counting then what fraction of the puzzle is missing? Now I want you to think really carefully about what your bottom number would be, what your denominator would be. How many equal pieces are there in total? Don't let that one trick you. Then this one, you are finding the fractions that add together to make a whole. Now you could do this by drawing a bar to represent the problem, or you can just look at the numbers carefully and think, this is tell me how many equal parts all together, so how many more would I need? So if you've not done that so already, please pause the video and have a go at those. Then the last worksheet for today, some of the fractions have labels, that's these bits here. And some of the fractions have been shaded, but have missing labels, that's these pieces here on the side. And depending which one they've got, depends on which activity you need to do. So if it has a label, then you need to look at that label and shade the right amount of that shape in. So I would shade a quarter of this shape, two thirds of this shape, two fifths of this shape and one third of this shape. Then for these questions down here, this time you haven't been given the fraction, but you've been given the representation. You have a picture. You have to count how many pieces are shaded and how many pieces you have in total and write the fraction next to the shape. If you've not done so already, please pause the video and have a go because I will be going through the answers. So let's have a look at the answers. Now here, I haven't drawn lines because I didn't know if you'd be able to see, so I have just matched the shape up. So I had a half, which is written as one half, and that is the fraction. This shape, there were one, two, three, four pieces in total, and three pieces were not shaded, so it is three quarters. The next one had one, two, three, four, five pieces in total with three parts not shaded. So it was three fifths. Then this one, you've got four, five parts in total. One, two, three, four, five with four parts not shaded. So it is four fifths. Then you've got eight parts in total. So it's eights and you have one, two, three, four, five of those not shaded. So it's five eighths and lastly you had three parts in total two parts were not shaded so you had two thirds well done if you got that right now this one would vary depending on what you did so if you colored in six parts then the fraction would be six parts out of nine making six over nine six ninths but the main thing is that your denominator, your bottom number, must have been nine because that's how many equal parts there were in total. Another thing that can help you check is the amount shaded plus the amount not shaded should also equal nine. So here I've got six parts shaded 
three parts knot and if I add those two together I get nine because it's the whole shape. So as long as your denominator is the right amount of numbers, um, right amount of parts, sorry, for this one the number should be six. And as long as your two top numbers, your two numerators add up to make six because it is the parts shaded plus the parts not shaded, as long as these two make six, it could be one and six, could be two and four, could be three and three, either way. As long as they total six, you've got the answer right, hopefully. Then here, you've got eight parts in total, so your denominator must be eight. Your bottom number must be eight. Then your two top numbers must add up to eight because it is the total not shaded and the total shaded. So well done if you got those right. Peter and his chocolate bar. So there were six parts left. The fraction of the chocolate bar eaten by him was four tenths. Four pieces out of ten whole equal parts. There were ten parts of the chocolate bar to begin with. That means that six tenths is what is left. There were six out of the ten pieces left. That we also mean, um, tells us that four tenths add six tenths equals ten tenths equals one whole. Then here she added three more pieces. So what fraction was grey? Well, it was seven out of the ten pieces. And what fraction was white? Three out of the ten. Now, hopefully you knew that ten was our denominator because it said she used ten cubes. You could have also counted them. That also tells us that seven tenths plus three tenths makes one whole because if you have three tenths and you add that to seven tenths, you end up with ten tenths overall or one whole because that is the same as one whole. The puzzle, there were seven pieces missing and seven pieces in place. That means there were five twelfths missing and seven twelfths that he had. Now, hopefully you got your denominator as a 12 and you know that because the puzzle had 12 pieces in total. That means that five twelfths add seven twelfths makes one whole. And we know that also because five add seven makes 12. So what more did we need to make a whole? Three tenths is what you add to seven tenths. Five ninths is what you add to four ninths because four and five make nine. Then you need to add six more to get 12 twelfths or a whole. So it's six twelfths. And you add three, add you eight, sorry, to three to get 11. So it was eight more elevenths you needed for one whole. Well done if you got that right. Then the shading. So you needed to shade one part out of four for this because it was one part out of four. doesn't matter where you shaded it as long as you've only coloured in one of them. Then for this one, you needed to colour in two parts out of three. doesn't matter if you've done the, this one here and this one here, I don't mind which, as long as you've only done two parts out of the three. Here it was one part out of three, so you needed to shade just one part. And for two-fifths, you needed to shade two parts of your bar of five. Then what fraction had been shaded here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts in total and three parts shaded. So it's three eighths. Here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts in total and five have been shaded. Must apologize, that's been snipped incorrectly and part of it is missing, sorry about that. Then here you have one, two parts out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal parts. So it's two sevenths. This one here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts in total. Three of them are shaded, so three eighths. And this one here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts in total. And one, two, three, four, five parts shaded. So well done if you got that right. If you haven't counted the middle part, I will let you off if you've written one, two, three, four, five, six whole parts and one, two, three, four, five of them shaded. That is a part in the center, but if you decided it wasn't, it's not the end of the world as long as you got the fraction the right way around. As always, if you finish the slides quickly and there's more you want to do, 
then please log on to Times Table Rockstars and practice your times tables. Good luck and I'll see you tomorrow.